Welcome to TrueJ, a user-friendly CRM migration platform. After navigating to app.truej.com to begin your project, you'll be asked to register, which is as easy as using Google or by entering an email address and password. Once you're in the system, you'll click on Start New Migration to launch the migration wizard. Under Your Current CRM, select the system you're currently using. A pop-up window will launch, allowing you to log into the system as you usually would. Once connected, do the same for the system you're moving to. Next, you can proceed with a sample migration of around 10% of your records using automatically applied field mappings. Most customers have custom fields and probably want to adjust these mappings, so for further control over the migration, click on Customize Mapping. By default, our migration is configured to not overwrite any data that may exist in the CRM you're moving to, but some CRMs have their own deduping rules that may ignore ours. For that reason, if you have data in the target CRM that you'd like to preserve, it's best to click yes on this pop-up message. If the data in the target CRM is not important or the CRM is new, click no to proceed. At this stage, the migration wizard will look at both of the CRMs you connected to and pull in the default system objects. If there are any objects that you're not interested in migrating, simply uncheck the checkbox and we'll ignore this data. Any objects in gray are supported by us, but may not be supported by the CRM you're moving to. Click next to continue. The first step to setting up the migration is by configuring the user mappings. We'll pull in a list of all users in your source and target CRMs and do our best to match them. If the users have not yet been added to the target CRM, go ahead and do so now. Then come back to this screen and click on Refresh Users to pull them all in. Then map them correctly. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use our bulk matching feature to assign all source users to the same target user. These mappings are saved automatically, so no need to click the Save button. Hit next. And now begins the fun. At the top of the screen, you'll see the names of all of the objects that you decided to include in the migration a few steps back. Below that, you'll see the auto mappings that we've applied. On the left are the fields from your source CRM, and on the right are the matching fields from your target CRM. Now the mappings look pretty good, but as we scroll through, we see that there's a mapping that doesn't look quite right. To remove it, hover over that row, then click the delete icon that appears on the right-hand side. Go to the next page to continue reviewing the mappings. It's important to note that these mappings do not save automatically, so if you notice that the save icon is green, be sure to click it to save your changes. That brings us to a favorite feature in the wizard, custom fields. For CRMs where automatically creating custom fields is supported, you'll see this feature listed in the toolbar. It will show you all of the custom fields from your source CRM, automatically detect the field type, it's always good to review these just to be safe, show you the usage of the field so that you can uncheck those that you're not really using, and it will give you the ability to rename the field if you'd like to call that something different moving forward. After making the necessary adjustments, click Create Fields to automatically create and map them. That's sure to save you a good amount of CRM setup time. If you prefer to set up your custom fields from within the CRM you're moving to, go ahead and do so, then come back to the screen and click on Refresh Fields in the toolbar. Then make sure to map the fields by finding the corresponding source field, clicking Select Field to the right, and selecting the newly created field. Another useful feature for easy field creation and mapping is Unmapped Fields. This will show you all fields, native and custom. To create a field, Choose your source field, in this case contact ID, then click Add Custom Field. Fill in the information, then click Apply, and we'll automatically create it for you. At this point, the field has been created but not mapped. Be sure that you have your source and target field selected, click Apply again, and that will map them for you. Now that our mapping has been configured, be sure to click the green Save button to save your changes. We're now ready to migrate some sample records. When you scroll down the page, you'll see two options for migration, an option to select your own records 
and an option to allow us to automatically select them for you. If you know that you have a lot of outdated data and would like to cherry pick some records that you know are more recent with many fields completed, choose your own records by pasting the URL of the record into the search bar. Click Start Free Sample Migration when you're ready to see the magic happen. Feel free to follow the progress by clicking on Details and watching the mesmerizing green bars. Or go have a treat. You've earned it. Once the sample migration is complete, you'll have the opportunity to review the sample results by clicking View Results next to the available objects and navigating to the records from here, or by clicking Download Reports, which will provide some great instructions for how to review your sample. After reviewing the sample, either scroll down and click on Change Field Mapping to make changes and run another sample, or click on Start Full Migration to enter your payment information and migrate all of the data. If you'd like some extra eyes on your project, please don't hesitate to reach out to us using our web chat in the bottom right corner of the screen or by sending an email to support at truej.com. We know that a CRM migration can seem daunting, so we're here to make sure things go as smoothly as possible. You've got this.